Okay, this is Mike with Edge on Up, and uh, what I have here is a test media fixture that is utilized by the PT50 series of electronic edge sharpness testers. And what we're going to do here is, is show you in the first part of this video how we rerun the test media. Uh, in the test media fixture and then in the second segment we will show you how we replace the test media canister in the test media fixture. So I think uh, perhaps the way to do this is, is I'll just go ahead and um, and change out the um, rerun the test media in the test media fixture very quickly uh, with no editorial comment. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll come back, we'll sever the test media, and then we'll just take it very slowly, step by step. So, okay, I'll get started. And that is that. So, uh, as promised here, let's, um, let's sever this test media and we'll take it nice and slow. So, uh, the first thing we do is, is we've got a piece of severed test media here. So let's get rid of that and I will point this out to you. It, you only have to back this off maybe a turn and, and the, test, the old test media piece comes out very... Uh, very easily but what you want to do is make sure that you back it out more than enough so that when you rerun this test media you got plenty of space here to get the test media between the body of the fixture and the base of this tightening screw so I've turned it out an extra turn and a half or so to make sure I've got lots of space here okay now we come over here and we've got this little piece of test media is still sticking out over here and all I'm going to do here is, is I'm just going to crack this open just a half a turn and that's all we need and then we pull out a sufficient amount of test media like about that much and then we're going to come back over here and just snug this up it doesn't have to be tight and then we're going to get a hold of our test media here lay it in this groove just simply wrap it around here and now I want to show you this because if there's a trick to this this is it I'm going to take now it makes no difference which hand you're using uh, obviously you just reverse all this if you're left-handed right-handed whatever the case may be but anyhow now what I'm going to do is take this finger and just lay it over here and pinch that test media in between my finger and the body of the test media fixture and what that simply does is, is freeze this hand up to just tighten the screw down. And there we have it. So that is the step-by-step -step process. And um, I will go over one more thing with you here. And, and let me just undo this. And I want to, because some people... Um, some people have a lot of question about this, and they shouldn't because it's just so simple. You'll notice that when I run this, I'm not putting some great amount of force or anything. All I'm doing is, is I'm taking the test media, laying it in the groove, and I've just sort of pulled the slack out of the test media. That's all I've done. I just put the slightest bit of pressure on it. In other words, it's sort of this issue about, well, how tight should I pull it or whatever. Well, you don't. You just lay it in there, pull the slack out of it, wrap it around, tighten the screw, and that's it. You do not pull on the test media. You, um, it does you no good to tension the test media. So anyhow, uh, hopefully that helps in that regard. So uh, let's break the video here and I'll come back and I'll get a test media canister and we'll reload test media in this fixture. Alrighty, I think we're ready here. Um, as you may already know, the test media canister is contained in the bottom of the test media fixture. So I'll leave that cap off 
and this is just as we left it now in the first segment so let's just do this I'll loosen this screw make sure this is pulled out of here and I'll loosen this screw as well now what that's going to allow to happen is is for the test media canister just to drop out of the bottom so there we have it now I have here then a new test media canister and you can see we have our best symbol on here now hopefully you can get a look but right over here on this side of the test test media canister you see a small hole right there and that is where we're going to root this new test media canister test media up through this so I'm just simply going to take this stick it in that hole and I'm going to back this out most of the way to make sure that there's clearance there and there we have it now we have a piece of test media that's sticking out the top side of the test media fixture so now I'm just going to pull on that make sure I don't lose it drop this in and now I'm just going to pull this so that the test media can canister gets aligned and it is aligned if it hadn't been aligned it would have been I'll show that to you if it hadn't been aligned I'll turn it out of alignment now I'll pull it and let's see if you can see this. See how it automatically straightens itself up? Okay. So that means we're in good shape there. And I'll just go ahead and tighten this temporarily. We will put the cap back on here. And that's all there is. Now if we want to... I've already snugged that up. So now if we wanted to just rerun test media again, we just go like this, tighten this up, and we're ready to go. Okay, so hopefully that explains that. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later.